I was going to make a video about putting fluid in the tires of our B2601, but I stopped it because it, it wasn't going according to plan, and I didn't feel that I could recommend what we were doing to somebody else that wanted to learn how to do this. But something I, I heard this morning changed my mind. On Sunday mornings, we have our coffee, and we like to check to see if there's a video from Dave at RCAF Polar Express. We love his videos. Uh, they're fun. I always learn something, and you can just, you can tell he's a good man, and you, you feel like you're spending time with a good friend. He was talking at the end of his video about this tractor community and helping each other, and you should share your knowledge. And I, I thought, even though what I did didn't go perfectly, um, somebody that wants to know how to do this could learn from what I did. So, uh, so I'm back at it. Uh, we, we would have liked to have put rim guard. Uh, it's heavier. It's, it's about 11 pounds per gallon. Uh, but it's expensive. And we live on the east coast of Canada, so it's a five-hour drive, one way, to get it. And so that, it was off the table for us. So we decided to put uh, windshield washer fluid, and it's cheap. And this stuff is good for minus 40 degrees Celsius. Now, the first, there's a number of different ways to put the fluid in. Uh, one, you can pump it in, you get a submersible pump, and, and I didn't want to buy the pump because I'd use it once and then it would just sit on the shelf. So there, and there are other ways. So the first method that we tried was you jack your tractor up and you take the little valve out of the valve stem. And I used this, there's a little valve stem tool you can get. Uh, if you can see that, it, it, I don't know where I got it, at a bike shop or maybe Canadian Tire. Uh, it's cheap. Uh, so you take the valve out, and when you're taking the valve out, you want to be very careful because there's a lot of pressure and it will shoot and you'll, you'll lose it. So you can be very careful to get the valve out and that you don't, don't lose it and put that aside so we're safe. And then you take a piece of quarter inch tubing, quarter inch inside diameter tubing, which fits snugly over your valve stem. And you have a bucket up here with your windshield washer fluid in it. You lower the tractor and it squeezes the tire, which forces air out. And now you lift the tractor back up and the tire regains its shape and it sucks the fluid into your tire. And that worked great uh, until it didn't. And didn't I knock the, se the seal or the bead off the rim? So now I've got about three gallons of fluid in the tire and it's off, it's off the rim. So I went, oh buddy, this, this is bad. Uh, so I spent the rest of the morning trying to learn how to fix my error and getting the job done. So in the end, I took a, just a regular you know, a ratchet strap and around the center of the tire and I cinched it tight and it was a struggle, uh, and then tighter, and, and but it, it pushes on the sidewall a little bit, and I was able to reseat it, and I was back in business. But that was the end of my fluid filling adventure for the day. Uh, so about a week later, I I got the nerve up to try another method, and this method, you jack your your tractor up, but you don't squeeze on the tire. And so I'm being very careful. And I took our garden sprayer, again, a quarter inch inside diameter tube. You take your valve stem out, or, or the valve out of the valve stem, and this fits on quite nicely. I could pump two gallons of windshield washer fluid very easily into the tire in about little, just about three minutes. So I ended up getting 17 and a half gallons into the tire, which takes it up 
just to the valve stem. So when you let air out, you're getting air and not, not fluid. And the nice thing about this method is when I, I, when I want to check it, once I put in two gallons and I take the pressure off, I can tell when I'm full because I'm pushing fluid now is coming out of the tire, not air. So then you know you're full. And the first tire went very smoothly. Doing the next tire, now I'm having a problem again. I get about eight gallons in and I'm starting to get leaks down here and I've got fluid coming out and I'm gonna, this is not good. So what I did was I put the ratchet strap back on and I squeezed it a little bit and I just kept squeezing it until I stopped the leaks or at least the leaks were just a dribble. And I, some of my empty uh, windshield washer jugs, I just cut them and I made little trays and I put them under the tire to capture what was what I was losing. And it wasn't very much. I, I think I was only losing maybe a, a cup over, over the whole process. And I, and I could put that back in the jug. So in the end, this worked very well. I was, uh, I was happy. And, but it wasn't without its, its problems. Um, but much cheaper than having it done. It, I was quoted $300 in labor if I were to take the tires into the city and have it done. Uh, and I think that's just labor, not, not for the fluid. So uh, anyway, if, uh, if this could help somebody, that'd be great. Take care.